Hey everybody, so I look even more hideous than normal, so you know what that means. It's a get ready with me video. <laughs> I am. I'm going to film my Avon Campaign 4 video, an Avon discontinued item list video today also, and so I had to put makeup on, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to catch everybody up so you know what's up with our lives right now, because I know you're all on pins and needles to know what's new in our world. Um, but I just figured, since I had to put makeup on anyways, I might as well do a chat. So already on my face, I have the Avon A New Vitamin C Illuminating Primer. Have that on already. And I already have on the Avon Crave Lip Gloss. And I think this is the Honey Tea Flavor. Flavor Scent. I'm pretty sure it's Honey Tea. I'll link it in the description section below. So yeah, I am looking frightful. My hair is... I didn't brush it out yet. Because I'm getting ready to do videos. So I'm like, I always do my ha my makeup first. And then I do my hair after that. So it's really gross. Look at my big white streak right here. Isn't that crazy? I gotta do something about this. I gotta do something about it. So anyways, I thought I would just chit chat with you while I got ready for the video. Um, and... The videos that I'm going to film bring you up to date on everything that's going on with us. Um, it's going to be my usual mix of Avon and other brands uh, today. So, yeah. And I'll get started. It's very gloomy out. Jane, Michigan is so gloomy in the winter anyways. I'm using the Avon uh, Cashmere Complexion Longwear uh, Foundation. Cashmere Complexion. Um... And I'll list my shade in the description section below. This is the one with the Jumbo Doe Foot Applicator. Um, I don't reach for this one very often, so I was like, well, why not? Anyways, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, Michigan is so gloomy in the winter time. It's really yucky. I'm just kind of dabbing it about. One application is definitely enough, I think. I think. I haven't used this in a while, so let me just be sure. Just going to blend that in. Um, so if you guys are on my Facebook, you already know that um, my father-in-law passed away last... Uh, today is Wednesday the 20th or the 19th? I can't remember. 18th? 19th, 20th, I think. Today is the 20th. Um, and... I think. And anyways, um, he passed on Monday the 11th of January. So I have not done any videos um, since that happened. This is my first one. Um, Keith's doing really, really well. I'm so proud of him. He's handling everything so beautifully. It, it just amazes me I had to watch him um, taking care of his mom, uh, and if you're new to my channel or you didn't know this already, my mother-in-law has dementia and my father-in-law was very ill, uh, for about a year and then, um, he was about placed on hospice care right before Christmas and so he finally, you know, he did pass, uh, last Monday the 11th and, um, but Keith, he's just been oh, so... I don't know, so wonderful taking care of his mom, and um, she's been handling everything really, really, really well. Um, so, yeah, it was, I mean, you know what's coming. I am going to put a little bit more right here. You know it's coming, but um, always still when it does happen, you're kind of, you know, you, no matter how prepared, you're never prepared all the way. So, yeah, so that happened on Monday. Um morning early 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 in the morning around 4 a.m. ish and then you guys unbelievably almost but it's it is believable because it really happened our orange cat Frank that you hear in videos all the time he died that day also um he passed away about eight o'clock in the morning so about four hours after Keith's dad and we knew that Frank was in his you know, winding down. We were pretty sure, you know, that he was going to go that day, too. Um, I think it was just kind of crazy. Because you're, like, thinking, 
surely this doesn't happen. You know, I don't lose a pet and a parent and a pet in the same day. It just seemed kind of like it's surreal. You know what I mean? Um, uh, now I'm going in with my Avon Cashmere Complexion Longwear Concealer. So yeah, so that's what happened. But we've had over a week now to, you know, get a, get a grip and come to terms with everything. And, um, you know, we're starting to fall into our, go back to our, try what whatever you want to call it, the new normal, your routine, um, you know, whatever we can. I always have trouble finding my concealer brush for some reason. It always goes down to, like, the bottom of the bag. I'm not really sure what's up with that, why that happens. But, um, yeah, so today we kind of are back into a rhythm of sorts, and I said, I think I'm going to film some videos today. Okay, I don't understand where my, oh, here it is. Anyways, yeah, so, um, and I said, I think I'll film some videos and, uh, get, get, try to get back in the swing of things with Avon after basically taking six weeks off of everything, but, um, yeah, and so like I said, Keith, he's doing really, really well. He's he's handling everything super well. His mother's handling everything as well as she can. Uh, and so we're just going along, you know. You just gotta, you gotta keep going. You gotta keep going. And that's that. So I just thought I'd bring you guys up to date on that. So now this week I have some videos planned. Uh, hopefully the week will go as I intend it to. I'm going to use our Avon Face Shop Moisture Cushion Blush in the pink shade. Um, I want to do a few. I have, you know, my Campaign 4 video planned for Avon. We do have a discontinued items list um, for, for, for first quarter, and it's pretty significant just and I'm gonna use my brush for this uh, a foundation brush I'm just gonna dip it in there um, picked up a little bit of product on there if you can see just kind of dab it in I love these blushes they're so nice my under eye area looks pretty dry right now I can see some fine lines I I haven't put any extra eye cream on uh, lately other than the Isanox Rejuvenating Eye Serum. And usually I try to mix, I also use the um, Clinical Eye Lift Pro, um, but I've only been using the Isanox. And while I think it's doing good things for lifting my eye area and everything, I, I do need a little bit more moisture around there. Um, but overall, my skin as a whole is doing much better. I've been kind of sticking to a routine and taking care of business on that end so but yeah so I have the discontinued items video campaign for I also have coloring videos that I want to film um, and uh, some empties and a candle video I'm going in with the Avon face shop moisture cushion highlighter haven't used this in a while, and I really love this so much. So, yeah, I really want to use it. I'm going to use my foundation brush again. Just dip in there. Sometimes I think that's easier. It's probably not the recommended way to do anything, but I'm going to do that. And you guys know how much I love this because I love that shift. That pearlescent, pinky, blue, purple subtle shift to that product oh, so pretty I love it so one of the um, one person uh, the last time I did a, that really long one maybe two weeks ago or so maybe three weeks ago uh, get ready with me one of the um, subscribers uh, commented and her name is Rita so Rita if you're watching this one again hello <laughs> um, Rita is um, 
she watches my channel primarily for coloring content. Um, so it was kind of nice to get a comment from her on uh, uh, a non-coloring video. But she said she loved watching the transformation. Um, I loved the transformation too. I love seeing the plain face with its, you know, imperfections and uh, everything and then you just kind of blur all that stuff and cover it and then you bring out the natural features like the eyes and the lips and everything. I I really enjoy the process of playing with my makeup. I really, I've always enjoyed that. It's just something that makes me super duper happy. It's calming to me. It's relaxing to me. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy it. Oops, my mascara that I pulled out is sliding, and I don't want to lose that. So, let me fix that. I'm going to go in with my Avon Old Discontinued Matte uh, Setting Powder. But yeah, it's just really enjoyable. It, it, it's it, it what's so funny is it, it is almost like coloring right because you're taking this blank this blank um surface right and you're adding all this color to it to transform it into something different i don't know i really i enjoyed that comment and it really made me think about uh just the whole process and how much it does relate to coloring and stuff like that. So, Keith said, I said, I'm getting ready to film. He goes, you're not going to, you're going to do something with your hair. Basically, I think he said, like, you're going to put your hair out of that bun or something, aren't you? And I'm like, no, not right now. <laughs> I said later on, sorry, I'm stepping on the cord over here to my makeup mirror. Um, I said, uh, no. Nope, I'm not. I'm just going to do it like this. He's like, okay. <laughs> so he's not too impressed with my hair at the moment. I know it needs to be colored, but... That feels... Okay. Alright, now I'm going to use my Urban Decay Primer Potion Eye Primer. We have new eye primers um, in the Avon brochure of this campaign. Uh, but I haven't tried any of them. I haven't tried them yet, so I don't, I don't know much about them. So I'm just using my Urban Decay. I think I am going to try one. There's three different ones, and I just am not sure which one I want. I don't want to get all of them because I don't need all of them. There's a matte one that's like a purple. Uh, shift one like a purple toned one that's supposed to brighten uh, then there's one that has like shimmer to it and then there's just like an everyday one I think which is normal I kind of want to try the brightening one but I don't know how much it would change the uh, shade of the shadows you know what I mean I don't really know all right so eyes are not Avon um, right now I'm gonna use because I'm still in this kick of using the eyeshadows that I pulled out for in my search for the cool tones so I'm gonna use this Mac this is one of the 15 pan this is the warm neutral no not warm why did I say that cool neutral eyeshadow times 15 neutral so it's the 15 neutral plant 15 cool neutrals. Um, I don't think they have this anymore. I think they um, discontinued it. Possibly, maybe. Let me get a tissue. I didn't clean my brushes yesterday um, when I wore makeup, so I may have a little bit of residue on one of these. <sighs> well, let me see. I'm going to go for this, just like this. Mm -hmm. Let's do this middle, like, light gray matte shade. I think it's a little bit deeper than what it's showing up on the camera. I don't know. With the light. We got snow last night. Uh... So everything looks kind of bright, 
but the sky itself is gloomy. Uh, so the snow helps brighten up the natural light for me. I would like to upload this video tonight, but I don't know if I'll be able to upload tonight or not because of the inauguration stuff. Sometimes when all that goes on with YouTube, there's so much traffic that I don't have patience for like a slow upload time. So we'll see. That's pretty light though. I mean, you can barely see that. All right, I'm going to try to deepen it up. going to go down a shade and see what happens. That's pretty light also. Yeah. Let me look at these. Again, ooh, let's go to this dark gray right here. We'll do that one. It's like a taupey, like a taupey gray color. Where's my little brush? Here it is, a little pencil brush. I'm going to put that in the crease. It's got some payoff to it. So, yeah. We haven't been doing... Well, Keith, his dad was... Um, we live in Michigan, and his dad was actually laid to rest in Kentucky. They have a plot there, like a family plot... Uh, so he was taken back to Kentucky and laid to rest there. Um, but now everybody's back here. We're in Michigan again and everything is going on. You know what I mean? So, uh, today is, well, like I said, Wednesday. Uh, he was buried on Sunday. Came home, uh, Keith and his mom came home on Tuesday. No. Keith and his mom came home on wet Monday. Sorry. His father was buried Sunday. Keith and his mom came home on... His dad was buried on Sunday. Keith and his mom came home on Monday afternoon. Yesterday, everybody just kind of relaxed. And I helped his mom with a few things that she needed done. Made some phone calls for her and whatnot. Um, and then uh, today... We're just trying to get back into everything. Keith actually took the Christmas tree down yesterday because we still had that up. So that got taken down yesterday. And I had made uh, a recipe that I saw on Facebook Monday uh, morning. I put it in the crock pot. Um, it's a chicken pot pie, slow cooker chicken pot pie. Um, and so I think we're going to eat that again today as leftovers. Um, I think I'm going to go in with this, like, it's kind of, I can't, it's like a plummy. I don't know if it's showing that way or not, but it's like a plum, like a deep plum. I'm going to put a little bit on the outside, with this fluffy brush, and just kind of work it right there. But yeah, it was a really easy recipe. You just took, like, a... Uh, some cream of chicken soup, um, chicken broth, your vegetables like celery and onions, uh, carrots, and you put, uh, mix that together with your spices. I think I use salt and pepper. I used some sage. It didn't call for sage, but I used some sage. Um, and then I, it's a cup for parsley, but I have like an Italian seasoning that has parsley and some other herbs in it. I used that. And then you put in a couple chicken breasts and you cook that for a few hours. Uh, and then you take your chicken breasts out and shred them up, put them back in the, the mixture and add peas and corn to it uh, and let it cook again for, 
you know, however long you need to to get everything, all your vegetables are cooked down and soft, you know what I mean, aren't hard anymore, and everything, and, and then, um, you serve it over biscuits, like a chicken pot pie, and it was really good, so I think we're going to have leftovers of that today for dinner, I enjoyed it, it's good for, like, a day like today when it's snowy out, and then I don't know which shade I want to use. I think let's try the one next to it. That kind of uh, it's like a rosy plum shade maybe. Rosy taupe. I don't exactly know what it is. Somebody asked me uh, also in the last video what brushes I use. My brushes are primarily all e.l.f. I really like their brushes. They're inexpensive, and I think that they do very well. Uh, I like the black-handled one, um, black-handled brushes the best. Um, the white-handled ones, this is the only one I like, which is the eyeshadow brush, the C eyeshadow brush. I like that one. But other than that, I like the black handled ones. Um, they just seem to do really, really well. And they work good for me. They've held up. I And then if you order them on, you can get them at any, obviously, any drugstore or whatever. But if you get them on the e.l.f. website, they usually do free shipping with $15 order, which is crazy and then you also get like a free gift they have re usually like with a certain amount which is pretty low th threshold to spend um and then they also do like a rewards point system and stuff like that they have a referral system for points so uh i like the elf website and i really like their brushes their cosmetics for me are very hit or miss mostly miss i'll be honest with you Excuse me, and I haven't tried enough of their skincare to know, although the one what I have tried haven't been crazy about it. I really like their makeup remover wipes. I really like their brush cleaning spray. Um, and I really like their makeup brushes. So, yeah. Um, but I, I really like all my e.l.f. makeup brushes quite a bit. I'm going to take this center shade here. Right there in the very middle, and I'm going to use rub some of that into the lower lash line. Makeup brushes can be so expensive, you know what I mean? And you want good brushes, but you don't want to spend a fortune for them. Um, but I like them. I've always had a good experience with the e.l.f. brushes, and I just, I just like them a lot. I don't know if that's even. I might have to add a little bit more to this one. It's hard to tell. I don't want to have one eye, like, way, way darker than the other one. We'll see. And then I might lighten it up just a little. I'm going to take this one right here. I'm going to put a little bit on my finger, and I'm just going to pat it in there. That's pretty. Yeah, I'm glad I started using this palette again because for the price of it, I mean, it wasn't ridiculous. It was like, I think it was like $60.00. Or $65, which is like the Natasha Denona palettes. But still, that's a lot of money, you know. You gotta use your stuff, right? It doesn't do you any good to not use it. So we're done with that. Let me wipe off my finger. I just kind of ramble. I never have any specific things to say. I don't plan anything out. I'm going to have a drink of my Verner's. Don't know if you're familiar with Verner's or not. <laughs> it's a Michigan thing. It's ginger ale, but it's very gingery. It's not like Canada Dry, which is a good ginger ale, and I like Canada Dry a lot, but it's Canada Dry is very mild, almost slightly fruity, I think, in a way, compared to Verner's. 
I'm going to use my Avon Glimmer Stick in Blackest Black to do tight lining for the top and the lower lash line. But yeah, I love Verner's. I'm a, I'm a Verner's fan. My mom likes Verner's a lot too, and so does Keith. One of my favorite ways to drink a Verner's, well, I love a Boston Cooler, which is a Verner's with ice cream and a vanilla ice cream. Uh, but I also love a Verner's from like 7-Eleven or a Fountain Pop with like a lot of ice in it and get it that way. It's so yummy. I don't know why I have a plethora, how do you like that word? That was my 10th grade vocabulary word. A plethora of eye boogers. Plethora of eye boogers. Maybe if I ever write autobiography, that's what it'll be titled. A plethora of eye boogers. By Ian Hatfield. Let's smudge some of that out. Yeah, I have, um, I've been coloring though a lot. And I've been enjoying that still. And I've been watching TV. I'm about ready to start a new uh, coloring page from uh, Carolina Kubikowska's Imaginary Friends. And it's a buddy color with Lavalia. If you don't follow coloring, then you don't know who I'm talking about. But if you do follow coloring, then you know. I'm uh, really excited to start that picture. I hope it's going to be a beautiful and that I do it justice since it's such a beautiful book. I'm going to use my eyebrows pencil now, the Ultra Luxury Liner in... I think it's medium golden brown. I'll, I'll link the light golden brown. And yes, I realize I didn't put mascara on. Yeah, I always kind of, for some reason, do that last. Um, what was I saying about the buddy color? Yeah, I'm just really looking forward to that. I've really been enjoying my coloring again. I just, it's something that brings me so much pleasure. And I haven't really watched anything much uh, horror-wise like I usually do. Um, just because we've had so much going on, we haven't had a lot of time for watching movies. But I am interested in watching that Ghost Adventures show, the two-hour special about the Cecil Hotel, um, where they found that woman's body in the water tank on top of the hotel roof um I'm sorry I've forgotten her name but um yeah they have that where they're trying to connect with her and also uh Richard Ramir Ramirez the Night Stalker I'm really interested in that now that right now as far as I know is only available on Discovery Plus if you have that streaming service and I do not have it however I think it's on YouTube <laughs> so I might watch it yes I know I probably shouldn't but you know, and I don't usually watch Ghost Adventures that much anymore. I used to be like a faithful uh, watcher of it, viewer, I guess you should say, but um, I don't know. They get on my nerves, and I kind of thought they were going in a direction that I wasn't comfortable with. Like, trying to, like, summon spirits and stuff like that. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to get into all that stuff, how I feel about everything like that. But I just think it's kind of irresponsible because there's a lot of impressionable people that watch them. And I think it can lead to, like, a darkness in people. And right now, we don't need that. As a society, as a world, we don't need the darkness. We need light, if anything. And I just hate to see anybody get led down a, a path. And I don't know. That's just my opinion. But So I kind of haven't been watching it because I got a little aggravated with them. My eyebrows are not matching up. But remember, eyebrows are sisters and not twins. Uh, 
So, anyways, yeah, so I haven't been watching them and lately, but I'm interested to watch that. I'm going to use my Lancome Mascara Primer. So I'm interested to watch that. And then everybody's been talking about, what's that show called? Bridgerton? 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 On, I don't know, on Netflix with the old-fashioned outfits. <laughs> uh, I put that on my list. I also heard there's a documentary about Richard Ramirez, the Night Stalker, on Netflix. But I've heard it's really gory. I don't know if that's true or not. But I kind of would like to see that. Uh, I'm not like a major true crime aficionado. Like some people are. Because uh, true crime tends to freak me out. Like I can watch horror movies all day long. But I don't want to hear nothing about no John Wayne Gacy or anything like that. I don't like it. I do not like it. It disturbs me. I'm going to let this dry for a second. Have another sip of my Verner's. Or three. Um, my bra keeps falling down. I have to tighten that strap. I'm going to use that MAC, MAC mascara that I used in the last one that came with those gift sets I got. Um, I think it's like 3D or something. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm not like into true crime. True crime depresses me. Uh, to me, that's totally different than horror. But I mean, everybody doesn't necessarily understand that. You know, everybody's got their own opinions and stuff like that. But true crime definitely kind of depresses me. So... But it, it, I am interested in that uh, Night Stalker case, uh, even though it was pretty heinous, you know. So maybe I'll watch it. But, like, I couldn't watch the one on Netflix about the, um, the guy recently that killed his wife and the little girls and put them in those... That tank where he worked or something like that. What's it called? An American something. I can't remember. It's on Netflix. Chris, I, I don't remember his name. I mean, I could have watched it, but I don't want to. It's just not, like, my thing. You know what I mean? It's depressing. It's horrible. I'm kind of a weirdo, you know, because, like, I do love horror and stuff like that so much. But then when it comes to the real life stuff, I don't want anything to do with it. Like, I didn't, uh, I stayed home, you know, when Keith and his mom went to uh, bury his father in Kentucky. Because we are going to have a funeral, a memorial, at a later date in the spring. Uh, right now, because of COVID and everything, we decided to not. So it was just private, you know. Um, and Keith didn't really want me to travel because of the COVID and being exposed to everything with my arthritis and stuff like that. So I stayed home. But um, uh, on Friday, I was the first day that they were gone, I was like, I had it on the ID channel, you know. And all these shows were on, and I probably watched two or three hours worth of, you know, this, like, homicide stuff. And then I'm like, okay, that's enough of that. You can't watch this crap all weekend. You'll be so paranoid about everything. Uh, so. My mom, she likes that stuff. She likes the ID channel. You know who she likes? I think she has a big old crush on him. Is Joe Kenda. My, my, my. That's what he says. She likes him. When uh, my stepdad passed away years a few years ago, well, I guess it's been more than a few years ago, it was in 2013, no, 2015, I stayed with my mom for about a month, maybe a little bit longer than that, um, and she watched so much Joe Kenda that I kind of got into it, you know what I mean? Like, I, I ended up becoming the kind of a fan of his. My nose is stuffy today. Oh, 
I'll do one more coat on the top. I feel like, I don't know, my skin is so, excuse me, so dry lately. But I, it's a lot better than it was. Um, I just have to, I guess, be more careful about my under eye area, what I'm putting on. It's not the, it's not the makeup, uh, because normally, you know, it, I don't feel like it leaves me looking like that. It's just me. I'm so dry right now. I don't know what happened. Well, maybe I hit 50 and that's what happened. You think? Uh, but I don't know. Because we're not having a particularly cold winter. I mean, it's no colder than any other winter that we... Actually, it's been pretty mild, I think, for the most part. Although next week, I think we're supposed to start dipping down into the 20s uh, for a stretch. But for the most part, we've been in the 30s, maintaining up and down in the 30s. And that's pretty good, you know. We haven't had a ton of snow or anything like that. A little bit of snow here and there, kind of puny little amounts, but oh my crazy eyebrows! So, so that's pretty much it for right now. Uh, I did like I showed you guys. I had that Crave lip gloss in the honey tea. I really like this one because it smells like honey. I mean, it really smells like honey. It smells so good. And it's like when you first put it on, there is like a light golden sheen to it. Can you see that at all? It doesn't have much color, but it feels really good. And I like the scent. I don't notice the scent though afterwards, you know, like after. <laughs> I don't think I smell it once it's on. But when you initially open the tube and apply it, you'll notice it. But it's a pleasant, if you like sweet smells or honey smells, this is a good one. This is my favorite one out of all of them. So, all right. Well, that's just me catching up, showing, telling you guys everything that's been going on with us and letting you know that hopefully now things are settling down. I'll be back into the swing of things and providing more uh, content again uh, like I was prior to December. Um, I don't want to commit to any certain amount of videos a week or on certain days of the week just because with my mother and Keith's mother I never know what's going to come up in our day um, so I would hate to commit although I could maybe start to film videos and then schedule them to be released that's something I could look into also. I've always been like a weird person as far as my YouTube though where I'll film like a whole bunch of videos and then I'll upload like four videos in one day and then you might not see anything from me for another week and that's just my style which is weird but um, I could work on that about scheduling videos and stuff like that so um, just look for some other videos this week I don't know you'll probably see the Avon videos before this one and um, then there'll be some coloring videos some candle videos all my usual you know stuff and I guess I'll go do something about my hair now because Keith would die of embarrassment if I left my hair like this. It is pretty ragged. <laughs> Alright, you guys. So there'll be a link to my e-store. I'll link all the cosmetics from Avon that I did use. Really, really liking this illuminating primer right now. Especially as dry as I am. Really, really helping. Um, helping me, I think, <clears throat> with that. And then uh, I didn't bring... I'll just use this one, my NYX uh, Dewy, Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Yesterday I used that Belief one from Avon, um, the Belief Glow one, and I really liked the finish it gave me. So back when I used it in the summer or in the early fall, it was way too much and I looked sweaty. But to, yesterday I used it and it was just right. But let's see, let's try this one. This sprays out nice. So then I shouldn't look so dry. Did I show you guys what that looks like again? That's the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Alright, thanks so much for watching you guys. I will see you in the next one.